Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to Factorio Space Age. I'm excited to keep going. In our last episode, we got mech armor kind of started, and I've played about an hour in between just to do a few random things, mess with stuff on Fulgora. And so the mech armor has finished researching, but I haven't made it yet. I had to save that moment, obviously, for being together. I also automated some personal batteries, just because I figured it would be good to get some of that going. And I also decided to roll quality on that because obviously having a rare battery is a lot better than an uncommon. And I guess to make a guaranteed rare, we would need 10 regular rares. So that might not happen for a while, but we got lots of batteries here. And what do we have over here? Well, I decided, look, the power armor is awesome and the mech armor is gonna be even more awesome but I was looking at what we actually need to make a rare mech armor, and I thought, we can do that. I only need one, right? I don't need more than one. I just need one rare mech armor. So, and I, I, I figured in this case, it's way better to make a guaranteed rare mech armor than trying to roll the mech armors themselves. So I thought to myself, okay, all of the ingredients are doable, but the Power Armor Mark II is going to be a pain in the butt. I'm going to need to roll a lot of those to get a rare one. So I decided let's use our mall blueprint. Let's put the best quality modules we have in here, which I can also research the next one soon, but that's a, I don't have those yet. And so we got it going and, you know, I put the requester chest here. We got it feeding in. I figured it would take, you know, about 100 rolls, considering our quality chance is about, well, 13%. Um, and guess what? Here it is. That on the first roll. You see the products finished right there? One. One. I got a rare power armor mark two on the first freaking roll. Now you can call me a cheater, you can say I set this up, but uh, I, I, I promise you we are we are no cheat. We are no cheat. It had to happen off stream, of course, but that's about the luckiest we're ever gonna get. So I should probably quit now while we're ahead and just, uh, it was good. It's a good plan, good having you guys. See you next time. Um, yeah, so there you go. We got our rare power armor mark two, which is the ingredient we need for the rare mech armor. Now, you guys have to remember the rare tank debacle of 20 hours ago. Um, which we had to roll 200 something tanks to get a rare one when we had more than a 1% chance. So that being said, I felt like I still didn't deserve this crazy amount of luck. I mean, the first one, right? Like, come on, even, even getting it in the first five rolls would have been lucky, but I got it in the first roll. I did the math, it's, it's like a 1.1% chance or something to actually have gotten it. So I literally rolled you know, a D100 and I rolled a 100 or a 99 if it starts at zero. Depends on how you feel. Anyway, uh, so we're done with needing to <laughs> automate <laughs> Power Armor Mark II. Uh, I thought that was going to be a much longer journey. And now I want to take a look at getting all the other rare components that we need. So we've got the Power Armor Mark II. We're going to need 200 rare Holmium plates, which I don't have yet. So that means we need to switch these uh, prods back to qualities, um, and get that going. We also probably just can't run that many, so I'm gonna have less machines running, and then that should get us to our 200 rare Holmium plates. We're going to need 100 rare blue chips. I'm guessing I already have that. Yeah, we already have 134 of those. And then we're gonna need, uh, what else? 50 rare super uh, conductors and capacitors. So I already have the conductors, just randomly. And then capacitors, I set this up to start rolling for rare super capacitors and we have two. Well, that's certainly not enough. Um, that's a bit unfortunate. I'm gonna prioritize this one. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot more rare supercapacitors. So, 
I guess I could try for uncommons and roll those. Will that work? Um, maybe. Are these pass-throughs? I think I just realized these are pass-throughs. Yep, they are. Okay. So, for super capacitor... If we do an uncommon and then we roll those to be rare, we'll get a lot more of them. Um, the problem is the uncommon green chips, I guess. Also, you may notice the tooltips aren't popping up anymore. I'm trying the uh, Kovarex intended way, or was it Clonin? One of those two devs uh, says that this is kind of the intended way, actually, where you hold uh, a button to display the tooltip rather than them popping up over here. Given how big they often have been so far in the Space Age expansion, I've actually felt like they're too long for this section, and it means that you can't have very many pins over here. And it's where my streamer face is. So between all that, I'm gonna try the hold button for a tooltip. It might take me a minute to get used to it and I might hate it, but I'm gonna try it out for now at least. Uh, anyway, what's happening with Holmium? Are we still getting the proper amount of Holmium? It looks like that's been pretty steady. So I can't do anything with that. But yeah, streamer luck, streamer luck was real. Streamer luck was real, so now I have- I could even upgrade it now, I mean, I'm using the, the regular one. Gosh, look at that inventory size bonus! It goes from 30 to 48? Oh my gosh, ooh! Look at my shiny rare armor. Bite my shiny metal rare armor. Um... So, I mean, I might as well shift over to the... Well, should I though? Because then it's gonna. I'm gonna need to use it as an ingredient, so never mind. Of course, now I have not enough inventory space, so we broke it. Um. I don't know what to get rid of. But I can use these Mark II batteries now rather than the crappy personal ones. But yeah, I shouldn't use- wow, look at that equipment grid. That's a 12 by 12. The mech armor is going to have even more space than that. That's insane. Uh, where do I do what? Sorry. SMO, I don't know. What you mean. Uh, what did I do? No, no, these go here. There we go. Oh, the info thing. That's in the settings interface, uh, uh, somewhere. Tooltip delay, you set to never, and then you do entity tooltip on the side unchecked. Ooh, how far away from the cursor? 200 pixels. Wow, that's, uh, intense. <laughs> that feels so weird. <laughs> that feels like they're just appearing in a random spot on the screen. Um, what was it? 30? 20? Something like that. But yeah, okay, so the rare Holmiums will get there eventually. Um, the uncommons are getting used to make something. These, I guess. Am I really not making any uncommon green chips? I put quality in these, but the problem is we already have too many green chips. We've got 19,000 and growing. Uh, why are we getting so many green chips? It's because we're recycling reds and greens with no end in sight. This is the problem. But that's also getting us plastic and... Interesting. Um... But yeah, we actually don't need to be recycling all of these. 
And I guess I could put, to get quality green circuits, we can put uncommon. Do I have uncommons? This may not actually work. I may have to use just Q2s. I have three, but that might be it. Yeah, because I'm not actually making those right now. I'm making rares and I'm making regulars. But if I put qualities in here, then that at least gives me a chance to upgrade the green circuits that we're recycling. But we also want this to stop if we already have enough green circuits, because I do. Um, so if circuit green is greater... Also, I want to show you guys something really cool uh, in terms of quality of life here in a second. I feel like, yeah, if we have like 10 grand, we need to just chill. And then... I think I set a recycler somewhere. No, that's for prod mods. Um, this, this thing was a... Uh, I have not enough uncommon prod twos. And I have too many common prod twos. Then I recycle the prod twos. So this is just a basic recycler um, to get some of those prod twos taken care of so we can roll more uncommons and rares. Uh, I probably should set that up for all of the types of module, right? So I set up the prod version, but I should set up the other versions too. So what I can do is I can copy this, parameterize it, change prod two to speed two, and hit check. Do that. And then I can change that to efficiency to check and do that. So now that'll get rid of Yeah, so I'm only enabling the requester shifts if it gets a green signal, and it only sends a green signal if we have too many of the commons and not enough uncommons. And we're rolling quality on all three of these right here. Okay, so what's the cool trick, you ask? Well, if you are wanting to do like, okay, we want that condition for normals, and now I want the other condition for uncommons. Well, you can grab this by pipetting it, but then you're like, well, yeah, but that's just the normal signal. But then you do the shift alt scroll wheel and now you can grab a different quality. So you can just easily grab all the qualities of something without having to like click into the menu every single time. So yeah, being able to pipette something, plop it in and also do the shift alt scroll to get different qualities uh, can save you a lot of time. What's up, Aranel? Welcome, welcome. Uh, so yeah, uh, how are we doing on this? 167. And... We already have the capacitors... Or no, conductors. The capacitors... Oh, frick. I forgot to put quality modules in these. Damn, that was a few rares that we just sacrificed. I have a 16% quality upgrade rate, so... Yeah. That is unfortunate. So I guess what we need then is... A recycler. And we'll grab all these uncommon supercapacitors. And we want the recycler to upgrade things. And then we'll put the uncommon supercapacitors into that. And that'll give me some smattering of resources. You know, maybe I shouldn't let the bots grab it all, and then I can just manually move it.
Being able to control splitters with circuits would be very nice. It does feel weird that you can't. Um, I'm sure there are performance reasons for it, but it, it does feel weird. All right, three, six, we're at nine, and we only need 50. Shouldn't be too bad. Shouldn't be too bad. And as far as science goes, I wonder how we're doing with that. Oh wow, we actually have the 10,000? Sweet. Okay. Um, shall we send it to Navis? I just like to watch this. It's still so cool. And we're gonna see bigger asteroids on different, uh, oops, on different trips. So you can see here on the different space routes, there's different incidences of, like Gleba is very different in terms of resources. Oh no, that's, Vulcanus to Gleba, or Glebel to Fulgora, or Gleba to Aquilo. We finally see Biggs showing up when you go to Aquilo, which makes sense. So. It does make sense. I could turn this belt around and then like reconnect it so it's a loop and then that would allow all of this ammo to essentially be part of the buffer rather than being mostly wasted just sitting waiting for that I like this idea I do kind of want to prioritize this one, though. That does the opposite. Um, I don't know. That's fine. <laughs> oh, we don't have any blue belts on here? Um, interesting. There it goes, sending all the purple science home. We need cargo hubs on here. There's the purple science. Beautiful. And the bots are going to go grab that. Can you... I guess we have to request, if I want more logistics bots in the system, I have to request them. I do have almost 500 though. But. All right, do we have 50 yet? Let's get this mech armor, come on. We got places to go, like Vulcanus or Gleba. 14. Grab all that. Eat it manually. About halfway there. Look, pinks and purples, they're all the same. <laughs> Pink science, purple science, whatever. You know, what's the difference? I know there's a large difference, but. Oh. We were able to make quite a few uncommon recyclers, which is kind of nice. 
And a decent amount of uncommon electromagnetic plants. So that's where the... I was wondering what to do with my uncommon concrete. That's why I started this. Yeah. Because we end up getting quite a lot. Because this is all stuff that comes from scrap. So... That's why I did that. I kind of feel like my Fulgora mace... Ba mace. Base is a hot mess. And yet, at the same time, it's working the way it's supposed to. We are consistently dealing with three input belts of scrap. It's deleting a lot of resources. Probably deleting resources we don't need to delete, to be honest. Um, and at some point, we're going to have to trash even more things. Like, there are things we're building up on that I'm not getting rid of fast enough. Like, such as uh, uncommon copper cable or rare gear wheels. I think these are going to be problematic. Rare gears, huh? Can I make... Can we make some bulk, rare bulk inserters with those? I guess I would need rare green chips too is the problem. And rare reds and rare fast inserters. And then the rare fast inserters need more rare stuff. So it just, it all adds up. That's part of the problem. If you just have rares of one type of thing, that's not good enough. I also kind of wish I had epic quality unlocked because then we could try for a chance at uh, epic mech armor, but we'll just have to go with rare for now. All right, where are those rare processing units? Two places? I guess it's easier to just request them. Uh, processing unit. Of the rare, ver I swear I scrolled twice. Uh, guess I did not. Scroll, scroll. There we go. Rare on those. Super capacitors, rare, fifty. Super. No, conductors, capacitors are the actual battery-looking things. Oh, it starts at any, so you have to scroll up three times to get to rare. I see. 50 of those, and then rare holmium plates. But why did that only take two scrolls? So it starts at any, but once you click on it, it goes to normal. So if you click, then you only have to scroll twice. But if you start and you start scrolling, you have to scroll three times and then click. Okay, just making sure I got all that straight. We need 200 of those. So we're lacking 19 super caps. And about 20 plates. Okay. There's those things. I need 18 more holmium plates and 19 more super caps. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Now, if I could get rare prod twos, we could get a few percent more holmium solution. Pretty nice. These are mostly idle. I don't even think I need this many. Let's see if three can stay running. I just don't need to waste that many prod modules is what I'm thinking. I only have two rares? Okay. Well, never mind. The uncommons change us from having... 18 to 21 percent. It's only one percent more each, so it's not a huge difference. But there's three percent more holmium, roughly. So that's something. That's something.
yeah, I would like to go to Vulcanus next, I think. Because Vulcanus gets us a lot of cool stuff. And mainly the big mining drills are going to be a huge difference. And having cliff explosives will be nice. Um, artillery is cool. Not that big of a deal. But mainly it's like the turbo transport belt that I want. Just because having faster belts is great. Though Gleba gets us stacking, which is kind of like faster belts. So there's certainly an argument to be made for Glebo right now. Mm. But at the same time... Ooh, low density structure. <laughs> Turbo belts are calling to me. Asteroid reprocessing. Oh, now that's interesting. Oh, so you can make your your space ships and stations way more ratio balanced. Because this basically turns 0.6 carbonic asteroid chunks into 0.2 metallic and 0.2 oxide. Which is, you're only losing a third of the material. It looks worse than it actually is because you, you loop back the carbonics. And these are all the same, basically, yeah. So you can take all your extra carbonics and turn them into oxides for that water that you need. Uh, that's really cool. Yeah, and on Gleba, you get, you get epic quality, which would also be nice. So that... Honestly... I'm going to Vulcanus... Not because the benefits are actually better for me at this stage, but because I want to. I, I actually think if I was purely going for the benefits alone, Gleba might be the answer. Though at the same time, it is kind of a big deal that you get... Um, what's it called? Uh, the Foundry, right? The Foundry is kind of a huge deal. So it might still be worth it just for the Foundry alone. Um, I'm going to steal these uncommon homiums, and then I'm going to take a recycler with upgrade modules, and we're going to dump the uncommon holmiums in there, because, yeah, I was hoping it would return holmium plates rather than nothing, because it's not a smelted plate, so I wasn't sure. Like, it's a plate made in an assembler, but it does return plates. So this is one of those items that returns itself, which makes it a good a good target for just looping back the uncommons. Okay. Well, that didn't get me very many, but it was enough to help. We're at 188 now. <laughs> Back to the mines. Have fun, Riff. Enjoy. Yeah, I uh, was curious if viewership would be lower today because the game is officially released. And uh, yes, yes it is. Viewership is lower today than it has been last few days because everybody's playing, which is awesome. I love it. I love it. I'm so glad everybody finally gets gets to play and get their hands on the game. It's such a good game. It deserves all the hype that it has. It deserves all the praise. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else I can do to speed this up? I can keep recycling these uncommons, I guess. So I shouldn't have removed that scrap recycler. This will give me more items to put into the Uncommon Maker, which has the best chance to make rares, right? I keep hitting the wrong button, because uh, that's 16% 16, 16 quality there. Chance to upgrade. And these are about 13%, which 
means I might even get enough to make a rare quality. Just intrinsically. If we have the right items. Uh, yeah, actually. There we go. And then I'll put prod in that to get more rares. Two homium plate, two superconductor, four green chip, one battery, and electrolytes. Okay. Let me take more of this, feed in more of the rare st or the uncommon stuff. Wait, what's better? Quality or productivity to make more uncommons to recycle more? Probably quality. Yeah, quality is going to be better. But it is kind of an interesting thing that you can also prod mod the quality stuff. It's so confusing. There's so many ways to do stuff. So many ways. All right. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Nine more Holmium plates. 13 more super capacitors. Getting juicy. Things are getting juicy. Uh, are you still ending up with all the uncommon Holmium plates over here? Probably. Unless I have those somewhere else. But. Guys, this uncommon mech armor is going to be literal god mode. Do you see that inventory size bonus? Do you see this? That is an 8 followed by a 0. That's so much inventory. That's What do I have right now? With normal power armor mark 2, I have inventory size bonus of 30. So I'm gaining 50 inventory slots. Oh my gosh. Did I say uncommon? I meant rare. Yeah, we're doing rare mech armor. And the, the grid is 12 by 14, which is an additional 24 slots bigger than the power armor, which is already huge. We looked at that. I mean, it's just, it's nuts. We're gonna, we're gonna have all of the space available in our suit. Okay, it does seem like three chem plants isn't enough. Though I also haven't upgraded these guys to tier 2 speed. Um, I really need to do proper logistics groups. I haven't, I don't know, I haven't looked into that very much to try to organize my logistics groups very well. And to think, not too long ago, I was complaining about my inventory size. I do still think there's a little bit of complaint about inventory size. I almost think, actually, quality should impact the the armor slightly less, and there should be another research or two. Because you're basically tying... There is one more. Wait, no, this is an invent. Oh, right, it's a whole new type of equipment. Oh, okay. So yeah, maybe I'm just thinking the game should have slightly more in the kind of early to mid phase. It seems like there's plenty of inventory size to go around for the late game. Um, but prior to that. All right, three more plates, eight more super caps. And let's get our recycling of, of uncommon super caps done here. And then see if we can roll any more rare super caps. I do have more rare uh, super con. I can just throw those in. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, we're gonna do it. With 12 legendary beacons, with two legendary tier three speed modules, plus a legendary foundry, yeah, the, the crafting speed is gonna be absurd. I'm here for it. 
I'm so here for it. I think that pixel distance is too far on the interface. I think it was supposed to be 20. I'm going to change it to like 15. Yeah, that's a little better. Yeah, it's such a big deal to have a faster crafting speed at the base level, because then when you're multiplying it with speed mods, it's multiplying a higher number. So even though assemblers are only 30% faster, you know, if they go to uncommon or whatever, it's it's really worth thinking about like that. Oop, that's really more than 30%. You know, like it's kind of like a free speed module when you first think about it, but then it's even better than that the more you think about it. So I could research some stuff. Um, yeah, let's go look at our new. Did Nauvis figure everything out? Or let's see. I just want to see what's still on the space platform, because I want to send down all the recycle uh, stuff. And let's send down those quality modules too. Um, but then it's just gonna request them. That's so confusing. Um, so we need to request blue belts. I guess I'll just keep all this stuff requested to be honest. And we'll just let it build up. Um, and then... I might request some more modules from Fulgora when we come back. But yeah, this is all unloaded. I probably should... Get rid of all that stuff? Somewhere? I don't know. Anyway, uh, we should have a lot of science now. Where is it all being stored? I don't remember how I'm doing this. So this one just has 5,000 in it. So it's probably in storage bins somewhere, but... But yeah, I, I should be able to do a lot of good research now. So let's do... I could get a lot more power, but I'm not... This would only charge up my... Um, Accumulators more during the Fulgora night. It doesn't actually get me more power stored in accumulators. Um, we could unlock quality module threes. By the way, do they all need superconductors or is it different? Are tier three modules different now? <gasps> They're different. You need tungsten carbide for speed threes. You need spoilage for efficiency threes and you need biter eggs for prod threes. Oh my goodness. So module threes are no longer just kind of a walk in the park. So that's really interesting. Um, I could get Roboport, Shield Mark II, Tesla Turret, uh, Worker Robot Speed. I think I want a Worker Robot Speed first. And then we could do a Scrap Recycling because that's cheap. Processing unit productivity seems kind of enticing, but we probably should work on these just basic unlocks. Like, uh, we will unlock quality three, battery three, roboport mark two, shield mark two. We'll get those unlocks done. And then a Tesla turret. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Very exciting stuff. Now. This has got to be done by now, right? Oh, for sure. Oh, for sure. Don't you know? I might need some of these Holmium plates, though. I don't actually remember how many I needed of each thing. Alright, so we've got those. Do we have it? Do we have the rare mech armor? No! All right, I need three less of these. We need two more super caps. I think we're just about to finish the extra prod line here. Oh no, we just need some rare green chips of all things. Um, OK. 
Okay, this might be enough to get me some rare green chips. Maybe. Oh, there's one. There's one. A one more. Uno mas. Uno mas. Uh, Claymore, you said, are the early game blueprints affected in any way? I haven't played yet, but want to prep. Uh, yes and no. Uh, some, like, train stuff gets a little weird because they changed the... Are you serious? I'm one... One short. Uh, good. We're done. Okay, we got it. Like, the train turn radius is different now, so train blueprints will be broken. But a lot of stuff is the same. It's just that with all the new quality of life features, you may want to build your base differently. Look at what's crafting in this building. Rare mech armor. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. 12 by 14 equipment grid size. That is so much space. Think of all the legs we can fit. Think of all the legs. I mean, compared to a normal mech armor, I mean, you go from 120, oh, one second. Oh, phone calls that are spam when you're waiting for phone calls that are not spam is the worst because then you have to answer your phone. Anyway, uh, we did it. Rare mech armor. Ah, freak out. All right. Are you ready for this? All right. Let's just take a gander at how big our slots are right now. And then we're just going to be swimming in space. Oh, my gosh. <gasps> Oh, this is so exciting. We're not gonna get stuck on anything. This is like the best of, of Squeak Through and Spider Trons and Jetpacks all put together. And we have all this space, all this room for activities. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is, look at all this space. This is absurd. We like halfway filled it. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. This is amazing. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. I feel I feel pretty good about this. Uh, I feel I feel quite good about this. We should probably automate. Yeah, we should automate exoskeletons here to get some better get some better legs so we can really zoom. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Leg. This is so neat. Oh, and we even fly over the oil ocean so we don't have reduced speed. Oh my gosh, I can just walk whatever direction I want to walk. Oh, it's so cool. This is amazing. I love the mech armor. All right, we got to get a little screenshot here for posterity. And we have now done the only important thing we ever need to do, which is make rare mech armor. No, I'm kidding. There's still legendary mech armor that we're gonna have to make at some point, right? That's gotta happen. That's still gotta happen. But I can turn off these requests. And the power armor mark two, I don't need. I don't think, so I'm going to put that in the network. And then... Up here, we can ditch all this stuff. And also cut these off. Take back my quality modules. Get rid of all this junk. Cool. We did it. Oh, man. I didn't even know mech armor came on Fulgora uh, until more recently. I thought it was going to be like a Aquilo thing. So, having it already is really nice. Yet another reason to go to Fulgora first, I'll say. 
Uh, let's throw in a couple more batteries, just because we have the space. That should be enough power forever. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean... Let's see. 130 megajoules. That's, that's a lot of time, right? Yeah, that's a lot of time. Because the shields only draw, like, 300 kilowatts, the uncommon ones. Uh, let's see. What did we just finish researching? Nothing yet? Is this the first one? Other than mech armor that I'm doing? Of the pink? Pink research? I think so. Okay. So that'll be done in six minutes. Got it. Maybe. Assuming we can keep up with that science per minute. Which we might not be able to. Alright, well, what, what do I do now? I feel like we just have defeated the enemy the enemy is now gone we got we got our rare mech armor there's nothing left for us no i'm kidding uh so yeah let's start thinking about going to the next planet we could of course make this better somehow um there's a lot we could still do but i can do everything from space so yeah, like, recycling uncommon concrete is going to have to happen. So, yeah, I need some sort of, like, core... We just delete things we have too much of loop. And we don't ask any questions about it. This is just pure, pure deletion right here. Um... So this is when we have too much of something. We just straight up delete it. And I do want to do this sort of... Can you connect these? No, no, we can't. So again, we need a RoboPort, which feels weird. We'll connect all these up, and then you'll be for Uncommon Concrete. Uh, uncommon. Oh, that was weird. Is that a- that's basically a glitch. If you're in the middle of trying to configure it and it gets placed, it, like, exited without saving what I was clicking on. Because it got built by the bot at that moment. That was really annoying. Um... <laughs> you can optimize any Factorio base for eternity, or you can go to Vulcanus. Yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, we want to enable only if concrete uncommon is greater than 5,000. Alright, so this is our delete anything if we have too much of it loop. Yeah, Swiplet, especially when you're, if you're running a base remotely, you're going to be encountering it all the time, because you place a ghost, it takes the bots a second to get there, and then they break things when they place it, or they, they don't break things, but they break you selecting it, at least. Uh, and in this case, I think, having a couple speed demons... The beacons here is worth it. Uncommon concrete doesn't do anything except for help you make uncommon items out of it. So, it doesn't really do much. Uh, okay, so yeah. We could obviously work on the Navis base for a while and utilize recycling and in particular utilize the electromagnetic plants to redo circuits and science and modules that all sounds great and i might even at least make it so like my blue circuits are made with emps or something that could be useful uh, but i might leave the rest of it alone for now and just go to vulcanus because then i'm gonna have foundries right and turbo belts and we can make things even better with all that so it feels weird to kind of like 
remake the base, then do a planet, then remake the base again, then do a planet, then remake the base again. I feel like I kind of want to go do the, the other three planets and then remake the base. And it feels like there's more of an incentive to go to other planets first. But I do need to... Hold on. We need to go home. So we need the ship to come back for us. The SS Hendrickson. Um... And we'll probably make a whole new ship. Uh, the Hendrickson can be the thing that ferries back electromagnetic science once in a while. Oh gosh, I'm in love with the mech armor, y'all. You can just walk in any direction. It's so cool. No, no punishment, regardless of where you want to walk. I do think Less people will download Squeak Through now that there is kind of a semi solution. Obviously, you have to play fairly far into the game to get it, but at the same time, it's easier to handle frustrating things when you know there's a solution later in the game. Whereas without the mech armor, there was no solution to Squeak Through ever, no matter how late you went. Sp don't and don't don't you come at me with Spider Trons were a solution, because their movement was very stuttery and it was nice but it, you had to get into a vehicle which is kind of a pain compared to just walking so there were times where it was like more annoying than it was helpful so spider trons were certainly not the answer even though they they could walk over buildings um that was not the same as just being able to walk on your own two legs wherever you want to go Ooh, now our robots are nice and fast i mean they were already pretty fast but now they're even faster and scrap recycling productivity. Is that even that important? I guess it just gets us some free stuff. Well, it will give me more holmium ore without having to change anything. So for that alone, it might be worth it. Um, and then I think I'm going to switch back to prod in our assemblers here. because we don't need anything else. Um, and then... What are we looking at for modules? Rarity. It'll be good to have some rare prod twos that we can take and put in rocket silos and stuff. I'll definitely want to take a lot of modules to Vulcanus. So let's request, well, we'll let that fill up with the Fulgora stuff, and then we'll request some extra modules for now. Um, this is where things can get a little annoying because it's like, okay, well, I don't have 50, so I have to do a custom minimum payload, but I don't even know exactly how many of these there are until I click OK, then it will tell me there's two on the planet. Wait, there's only two on the planet? Wait, what? Only two on the planet. There's only two on the planet. Oh, fair enough. I thought there was more than that. Um, so change that to two. Then we'll do uncommons of these. And I have to change this? Oh. Oh, it doesn't default to importing from any plan. Oh, dear. Can you change to import the same group from a new planet? Oh, uh, I don't know if I... Can you not do any planet? Oh, that's weird. Can, can you not copy a group? Because what if I just want all the same stuff from Fulgora? You can deselect the planet. Oh, wait, you can? Mm. Oh, you have to right click specifically. That's not intuitive. 
to me. Okay. Oh, and then of course when you change the rarity, then it selects the planet again for you like a jerk. That's so, okay, that's annoying. I, I'm gonna say that's like super annoying. You're like, okay, I don't want that planet. Change the rarity over here. It reselects now this for you. Hmm. I don't. I don't love that. That's certainly obnoxious. So you got to make sure the last thing you do is to right-click on the planet. Okay, but now the problem is we have to change custom minimum payload to thirty-one. Oh, it doesn't even work? Wait, what? Oh, no, it just doesn't work. That's even worse. It allows you to think you're doing something when it doesn't actually do the thing. So you have to change it to Fulgora. There is no any planet import. That's gotta be bad, right? There's gotta, there should be an any planet import. Am I going crazy here? Like, I realize that in in the the basic scheme of things, you're usually gonna be grabbing a thing only at one of the planets, but but there could be multiple planets that are making oil refineries, and if you always wanna make sure you've got some oil refineries stocked up in your spaceship, wouldn't you wanna be able to grab that at any planet without having to make three separate requests? Hmm. I certainly don't know if I like all of this. Um. Interesting. No rares of those. I have 11. These. Seven. 19. Now, am I... Why are rockets not getting launched? Will this thing be slow? Yeah, we just need to go faster. We have power now. Gotta go fast. Speed of three. Also, how does it prioritize what requests get requested? Is, is this a priority list? Like, will now this stuff get requested at a higher priority? I guess we'll see what happens once it gets sent. More recyclers. Oh, it was so close to being done in time to not do the closing animation. Okay, so this is about to get the last 10. Okay, we'll see what it... Okay, it is going to request that next. <sighs> is it random? Or is it worse than random? Could be worse than random. Um... Varparex, we're going to have to move you. Of everything. 
<laughs> it's not your bad. That's where I put it. We once built a space platform from a blueprint and it immediately started importing stuff. Not space platforms, so it ran out of inventory <laughs> before it could get any platforms. That's funny. What's up, Lodro? Happy launch day. We are launching uh, many rockets right now. Uh, not because it's launch day, but because we need to take a bunch of stuff with us home so we can then go to Vulcanus, which is very exciting. Um, I probably should research Planet Discovery Vulcanus before we get into the weeds here with quality module 3s and whatnot. Bots. Oh, we got plenty of bots. And this needs prod modules. Speeds. I think I'm just going to do away with medium poles for the most part. We're just going to put substations there, and then I'll grab medium poles when I need to. Pretty rare that I need medium poles these days. Why is it not requested? Oh, there it goes. It's like, why is it not requested anything yet? Um, is there anything else I need to take home with me? No point to take lightning rods. Um, 50 uncommon accumulators could be nice. But I think I can leave most of this stuff. We do want to make sure we've got everything we need for a bot network. I still, I'm still having trouble understanding why import from is like, I'm really confused about this because if you make your own logistics thing, like let's say I make this one, the bot network requests. And that's going to be, you know, a hundred logistics bots. It's going to be hundred construction bots. It's going to be the main chest types that I use. I don't use buffers very often. So I've already designed this for my own personal requests. So then when I go to a space station, what, why is it all just defaulting to Nauvis? Like that's super annoying. I'm not a fan of that. Like this is the first thing I've seen like dis dev decision wise that I'm like actively like, I don't think this is good. I really don't think it's good that you can't like, it's not defaulting to either any planet. And then the fact that you literally can't select any planet is even worse. The fact that it defaults to Nauvis only is bad thing number one. And the fact that you can't select any planet is bad thing number two. That really seems off. Um, hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting. Now, why is this not being requested? It's just busy doing other things first, I guess. That one should happen. Yeah, there's that one. You come the superconductors. It defaults to the item's natural origin. That's not good enough. That doesn't fix anything. Like, that only helps in the 3% of scenarios where you are picking an item like electromagnetic plants that can only be made on one planet. Obviously, <laughs> that's the only place you even could request them 
Unless you took like a million with you to Vulcanus and then wanted to request them back. That's the only time that would ever matter. But for most items, you can make them on a lot of planets. And you might want to make, for example, you might want to make all your modules on Fulgora now. And the fact that that not only defaults to Nauvis rather than any planet, and then there's no option to select any planet, then that means you need to redo your requests even if you want the same things on a different planet. You shouldn't have to redo your entire request group for that. If, if anything, the simplest way to fix this, at least to make it livable, would be to have a way to change the entire logistic group to select a different planet. Um, yeah, this feels like they are trying to protect the player from themselves in a way that's actually, at the end of the day, harmful to the player. That's what I'm feeling. I'm not feeling like this is helping me not make a mistake. I feel like it's preventing me from playing the game. Um, so I do think this is one of those situations where they need to find a better way to protect the player that doesn't actually get in the way. Uh, what was I about to make? Storage chest. Because here, I'm basically wanting to prep everything I want to take to Vulcanus from Fulgora. And it's like, that's actually kind of a pain in the butt to do. The way they've set it up, it's clear that they're expecting you to go home to Nauvis, do stuff on Nauvis, and get ready at Nauvis to go to another planet. And as much as I understand that that will be what a lot of people do, this is a sandbox game, so you really shouldn't try to shoehorn people into that. Um, I don't know. All in all, it's fine. It's not that big of a deal, but I didn't even know that it was a problem until just now. Like, I just assumed it would be requesting all these things from Fulgora, because I have that checked. And I literally didn't even notice that there's only one planet selected, and we can only have one planet selected. Good morning, demon. Yeah, SMO, I think it'll be, it'll be changed, too. I think it was meant to be this way, is the problem. Um, at least I see it as a little bit of a problem. I think this is intentional. I just don't think they're going to stick with it after a lot of people complain. Uh, do we need anything else? Or are we good? What are the things I can only make on Fulgora? While I'm thinking about it. <laughs> um... Can you make... Like, these can be made anywhere, right? Technically. I would just need to take Holmium Ore to the other planets. Any planet has a problem of requesting from the planet you're trying to deliver to. Yeah, but that, again, it feels like there are other solutions of like, okay, well then just have like delivery mode where it turns off requests or have, have a way to set, I'm currently delivering to this planet or set, set an entire request group to be enabled, disabled on a planet that you, I don't know, a planet you have set as a delivery planet. It's hard to say exactly what I'm thinking in my head I'm thinking of like 10 different ways you could at least set it up some way that you the player could have more control rather than just everything defaults to now this and if you don't properly select a planet it won't can't even request it that just feels weird to me but anyway what was I looking at what can we make here so the electromagnetic plants we can only make on now this the Lightning collectors we can only make here, but I don't need the lightning collectors anyways. Quality three modules I can make at home. I'm just gonna be restricted by the number of superconductors. I've already taken a good amount of those back. Recyclers can only be made here. I'm already taking a good amount of those back. So I think we're okay on everything else. The super capacitors 
are used in the Mark III batteries. Those are about two and a half times the, the juice storage, but I don't really think I need to worry about that too much. Um, Tesla ammo. I don't think I care too much about this right now. Tesla stuff is cool, but I can handle that after Vulcanus. I don't think I'm going to need it for Vulcanus. I guess I could... This feels a little bit spoilery to myself, a little bit like cheating, but I am curious what the worm resistance is for electric. Okay, it is pretty high. 20 slash 20%, which means Tesla can damage it. I didn't want to have to wait to get to Vulcanus to know that. Um, so a billion Tesla towers could be a thing, but Tesla is more about crowd control than, um, you know, single target damage. So I doubt we will be killing worms with Tesla turrets, which means I think we are good to head out. Um, so let me turn off my personal logistics here and just chuck everything into storage. And go for it. I just tried to hit enter like we're playing space exploration. Yeah, 20, 20 slash 20% 20 is a big damage shot for sure. True, yeah, they do have 100% laser resistance. And what was that? Fire? Fire resistance was also 100. Um, I didn't catch the explosion resistance, but it probably has some of that, too. Yeah, yeah, it has a lot of rehealing. We, we know that. We know that, too. Okay, so now we fly... I mean, should I just go straight to Vulcanus? I can always go grab more stuff from Nauvis later. Do I have a reason to not go straight to Vulcanus? Uh, I, uh, oh, you know, a good reason we can't go straight to Vulcanus, or we shouldn't go straight to Vulcanus, is we can't go straight to Vulcanus. <laughs> They're not connected. <laughs> Glaba's the connecting planet of the three. So that's, that's a good reason to go to Nauvis first, I think. And then we can drop the science while we're there. Make Gleba your new home base. Eh, maybe someday. Maybe someday. research is this all going to total out to? Another 1,500 for Tesla. The productivities are, at least for level one of them, is going to be another 2,600. It's not actually that much. The mech armor being at 5,000 packs was, by and large, the most expensive. I hear goo thing about Gleba from Troopin. That might have been a typo, but it certainly was an accurate typo. There there are many goo things about Gleba. There are many goo things. It was supposed to say good. Well, Freudian slip, I guess. What do we need to change? I guess we have too many efficiency modules. I guess it would be good to put like a single speed in these. Or even well, two speeds would be too many. Maybe we could handle two speeds. Maybe we can handle that. Yeah, we have like eight megawatts. Uh, it's just the problem was Fulgora is a little lower, but 
This way we can craft the ammo a bit faster. At that point, I'm guessing we can't keep up. Yeah, 8.89. For sure. Wait, Apophenia, you're doing Space Age on X100 science costs? For the first playthrough? For real? <laughs> Dosh joined Troopin's run just to place a, a laser light show. That's amazing. Um, that sounds also very Dosh. Is the quality system balanced? Now there's a question. Some people would say no. No, it is not. Other people uh, would say yes. And then yet even more people would say, I don't know yet. I think I'm of the opinion it is pretty balanced. Um, but at the end of the day, I can't quite tell yet. I think it's pretty great. So I'm hyped to like keep playing more with it. I also am frozen right now, trying to figure out how to fit more solar panels in here. I don't think there's a way that I can. I could do undergrounds here, I guess. Um, yeah, I think quality is cool because it provides large bonuses, yet it doesn't, um, it doesn't incentivize you to like rush towards quality really quickly because it's actually kind of bad. In, when I say bad, I mean in terms of payoff. Like, the payoff just isn't there at first. And I think that's actually really good. Because then it's not making you feel like, Oh, I'm being punished for not doing quality. Like, no, you're actually not really punished for not doing quality. Because quality kind of sucks at first. Uh, I actually think that's a good thing. It's fun. It's extremely fun, which is why I've done it. And a lot of people are going to do it. But it's not extremely powerful at first. There are a few things that are kind of powerful to have, like uh, like these turrets. Having uncommon is a pretty big deal because they shoot further, uh, which is a big deal. Or having, you know, some uncommon solar panels um, or maybe some uncommon engines or whatever. But for the most part, a little bit of uncommon or even a, a little bit of rare at the beginning isn't going to make a massive difference. So I actually really think it is balanced pretty well for now. Um, but yeah. So, let's travel to... I mean, I think I trust this space platform to be okay. You get more power. Let's double check that I'm remembering this right. We get more solar power at Vulcanus. So, my space platform is not going to run out of power. As long as we still have the asteroid types, we'll be fine. So, I think I'm just going to go for it. This will be the mech armor and Vulcanus touchdown episode and then we'll have to end the youtube episode because we're already an hour and 20 minutes in i can't believe that um so we'll have to go to the next episode for that did we offload all the pink science let me just double check that um yes i will need to bring a lot more stuff i'm sure particularly involving weaponry And why is this stuff not getting requested now? Okay, now I'm just confused. Do we have... Eh, whatever. We'll, we'll figure out the request here in a minute. Um, oh, I guess it is. It's just taking a while. We'll send, we'll send the platform back without us. We're, we're going to Vulcanus, baby. Uh, circuit condition. Green signal. We're taking this baby to the lava planet. We're going to war with the asteroids. And I will eventually go to war with the worms. But we're going to play nice with the worms for a minute. 
taking the spaceship to Isengard. Epiphenia, you have blue science automated. Oh, green science automated, making six per second. How viable is asteroid reprocessing with good prod modules? Well, and with 400% solar power over by Vulcanus, you know, you get a lot of power from your rare panels and, and whatnot. So I don't actually know. I mean, look at this. This thing's 400 kilowatts just for one rare panel. Actually, a pretty similar overall trip. It looks like the whatever the orange is, carbonic asteroids are a little bit more prevalent on the trip to Fulgora than they are. But yeah, they're pretty similar. All right. Here we are. Stopped at Vulcanus. Now, <sighs> okay. I know I said we were gonna drop to the planet, but then I realized we have to build a rocket silo to get back. And is that gonna be problematic that I can't go to Nauvis? We have bots on Nauvis, right? I think anything we need to do, we can do with bots. So, screw it. We're doing it. We're freaking doing it. Heck yeah. New planet time! Exciting. Exciting stuff. We got a new tip about lava processing. Stone, iron, and copper. There's calcite over there. Um, yeah, and we got our first little lava pond, but look at this. I don't even have to, I don't even have to care about lava. Uh, we can see these red lines on the map, which uh, we all know what that means. Oh, cool. There's like trees that are already on fire. Fire plants. Oh, wow. What's this? Just a lot of coal. That is a 700,000 coal patch. <gasps> we see him. Oh, my. 30,000 health. Basically, the only way to damage it is physical, half poison, or high damage electric. That's it. That's it. All right, well, we'll, we'll talk to you in a while, Mr. Worm. For now, we shall probably just have to immediately send the, the spaceship back home. There are lots of things I didn't actually grab. Um, but I wanted to set foot on Vulcanus in this episode. 400,000 calcite. I feel like that's not going to be enough for very long. And then we got some sulfuric acid geysers. So we can have all the sulfuric acid. That kind of makes blue chips easy, weirdly. Even though they're hard to make, having the sulfuric already made for you, plus having the foundries to get lots of iron and copper. I don't know, 
And then if we use the electromagnetic plants, it's doubly, doubly easy. All right, no tungsten, it looks like. We will have to fight a worm for the tungsten. So yeah, there you go. There is our first touchdown on Vulcanus. I will uh, call this the end of the YouTube episode, but I will keep streaming. So if you're here live, don't go anywhere. But for those of you watching from the future, as always, thank you all for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments, and I'll see you in the next episode.